So hello, we're Resolve Collective. We're an interdisciplinary design collective who use architecture, art, engineering, and technology to address social issues in the built environment. Um, so our work kind of spans across different uh, spatial interventions and, and usually results in installations, as you can see here. So we've moved from working um, kind of locally in our local area, Brixton, South London, which is where we grew up, or close to where we grew up, um, to then working across Europe, but still thinking about how we kind of center local practice, local knowledges um, at the kind of the focus of our practice. So we talk about using site, the site as a resource. So that's both the physical site and the psychological site. And then kind of taking this, this um, transition between being a local, a local person and a practitioner and applying that in our practice. So the project we'd like to talk about for the AF4 publication briefly is the programming and passivity project we did for the Kunstverein in Braunschweig in Germany in 2020. So for this project, we're exploring the life and work of a dualist philosopher who lived in Germany in Braunschweig in the 18th century. He was a Ghanaian German philosopher called Anton Wilhelm Amo. And so this was a really highly important and personal project for us. Uh, we first started on the project through a long co-design workshop with a group of 45 um, college students in the local college called Francis Feld, and this allowed us to iteratively and um, test the materials of the project through this reciprocal process uh, by which we were testing and designing at the same time and feeding back to one another. Uh, we took a number of found materials from around the site and that became the spatial currency, uh, but we were then interrupted by COVID, which actually allowed us to take a new digital approach in a, um, on top of the physical one, by where, where we explored the lives of different Black Europeans in the 16th to a, um, the early 19th century. We also open source some of the material processes and we open source all the um, archival materials as well, allowing people to access those online. And that website that we designed is still up now. We um, then were able to complete the project remotely. And so we left the stages of that workshop in the um, space, uh, allowing people to kind of continue to get in there and to continue those processes uh, to pick up where we were left off. Um, and making this a dynamic space, one that was ever changing and one that was interpretable, one that was kind of interactable. And so just a number of different examples of some of the material processes that happen in the space um, and using some of those uh, found materials from around the city and the site. 